Here it is. So you just, Amen. before you know it, we're going to be talking about how short the time was. So make yeah. make use of every minute. And uh, if you uh, if you would I'd like for it to be praying for the boatmans, uh, brother. Uh, Chris has, uh, most of our church family knows he's had uh, problems with glaucoma and everything, and he's about to start up on several surgeries uh, on his eyes uh, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you'd remember him, um, on the left eye, they're supposed to scrape off the scar tissue, <clears throat> and, um, and then they're going to schedule the right eye after that, and then he's going to have to have laser surgeries afterward for removing the glaucoma and or whatever they do with that. Um, but anyway, th those will have to be scheduled separately as well. So he's got several things that are that are lining up uh, right in a row. So if you had to remember him, especially about eight o'clock in the morning, I know that sure would be appreciated uh, by them. They certainly wanted to pass on their uh, appreciation for that and say if they missed everybody, miss seeing everybody. Uh, if you likes to send out cards and that kind of thing, it'd be wonderful. Send them a card, let them know uh, that they're not forgotten out there. And because of Miss Sherry's. Uh, work environment and that kind of thing. They're taking the precautions to make sure that they're not sharing any uh, kind of COVID and all that kind of thing. So remember them in prayer. I think this is probably the longest that they've ever been away from church and all of the, the ministry years and everything that's there. I know that's got to be very hard for them. So remember them in your prayers. We would appreciate that. And uh, right now, all the nation is watching Georgia. And can I tell you, Georgia does not have the answer for what we need. So whatever your political affiliation and thought is, why don't you get your eyes off of that. Let's get our eyes on Christ tonight. Amen. Uh, God's the one that makes the difference in a person's life. And man, let me tell you, he can start it right here tonight. So I hope that uh, the Lord has already been challenging you. I know he has me. Uh, we've heard some wonderful messages. And, uh, you know, whenever God challenges you from, uh, from his word, that is such a blessing. That's to, that's to be able to show that we're not where it is that we uh, should be and not where it is that God wants us to be and He wants us to be going farther. And uh, so very thankful for, for that. I'm thankful for, for Brother Dan coming and preaching. As I mentioned just a, a little while ago how much of a sweet spirit that he has. And he can tell you anything and just smile and it's, and it's okay. Amen. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but he tells us exactly what we need. A lot of preachers, you know, this is the, this is the, the time frame where they heap to themselves itching ears and uh, those that, that just kind of tickle the, uh, the desires that you have rather than the things that we need. So, so I'm very thankful for Brother Dan giving us what we need. Amen. And then we can still come in together as a church family rejoicing, praising the Lord, and so very thankful for that. So let's all stand together, and uh, we'll start out in a word of prayer, and then we'll jump uh, right in. <clears throat> Our Father, we thank you so much for this evening, and I thank you, Lord, for the many messages that we've already heard throughout this week, for the way that you've challenged our hearts, for the individual thoughts that you've given. Lord, we just count each one of them a treasure. And Lord, I want to thank you. I thank you for last night's service. I thank you, Lord, for the way that it uh, convicted me and, and Lord, for just showing just how much that you desire to work in the midst of your people. So I pray, God, that tonight that you would have full control, uh, the rule and the reign over all of our thoughts in our hearts. Lord, I pray, God, that we put off the things of this world and the things that often are just an interruption and help us, Lord, to be able to rejoice in the cause of Christ. Help us, Lord, to, uh, to honor you as individuals, as a church, and as homes. Lord, I pray, Father, that you would get the glory of it all. And, Father, you know the things that probably stand in the way of each of us. Lord, we all have different uh, things that can hinder uh, our response to you. So, Lord, I pray, God, that you would show us that and that you would remove it Help us, Lord, to walk a faithful walk in accordance with Christ. We want to give you all the, the glory and the praise of it already, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. While you're standing, let's turn over to page 167. 167, all hail the power of Jesus' name. <clears throat> Some. 
every kindred, every tribe on this terrestrial ball. To him all majesty ascribe and crown him Lord of all. To him all majesty ascribe and crown We've got to sing this one in a revival meeting. Amen. <clears throat> Revive us again. I hope that's your prayer. Amen. That we're constantly seeking that Amen. closer walk with the Lord. It should never be something that we just say, well, here's the New Year's revival, then we'll get back to normal. Amen. That revival is something that sparks in our heart every single day. It should be that we're drawing closer to Him. <clears throat> 343. Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, find the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, find the glory. Revive us again. We praise thee, O God, for thy spirit of life who has shown us our saints. Brother Jimmy, would you ask a blessing on our offering, please? Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all that you did for us. We thank you, Lord, for your unending, unfailing love for us. Thank you, Lord, for the many answered prayers and blessings you've given us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word, the wisdom, truth, and encouragement we gain from it. We pray, Lord, as we hear the preaching of your word here today, that you will help us, Lord, to allow your word to work in us and through us. Yes, Lord. Mold us and make us. Help us, Lord, to be more like you. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord, to be doers of the word, not yours only. Amen. We do ask, Lord, if there's one among us that does not know you, today be that day they come to know you and your salvation. We pray, Lord, that we will bring honor and glory to your name here today with the songs we sing and the words that we say. Yes, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you'll take this offering, bless it, multiply it, and use it for your kingdom work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please do be seated.
Notice Miss Kim didn't play fiddle on that, so I don't know. Let's, let's swap roles and then she just bowed out. <laughs> let's stand if you're able one more time tonight and uh, turn over to 145, page 145. It is well with my soul. Wonderful, wonderful hymn. <clears throat> out on that first verse. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast told me to say, it is this third verse. My sin, oh, the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole is nailed to the cross and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the singing and y'all can be seated living proof is going to sing a few for us this evening and certainly wanted to give my appreciation for the weights being here tonight brother george has been such such a faithful encouragement to me uh, over the years and I, I mentioned him a lot um, that he doesn't know how much of an appreciation that I have for him. But every time he comes in, he's faithful, still serving the Lord, and, uh, and he shows up. I said, I didn't, I didn't expect to see you here tonight. I thought I saw somebody pull up over to the side, and I thought it was Kim bringing food or something. So I went out there, and I said, well, it's the ways. Look at here. And uh, I said, I didn't know you were going to be here. He said, well, we, we said we were going to be here. <laughs> so, but I appreciate that. Man, they, they make the drive down here to be able to, to be a support to the things that's going on right here at Heritage Baptist Church. Always just been so faithful. Always got a smile. Always excited to be able to see them, whether we're going there or they're coming here. Just truly a privilege and a blessing. Brother Wade, thank you so much for being with us. 
Brother Dan's going to come after this thing for you this evening. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 